out here at Works Racing Round 9 here at Glen Helen World Off-Road Championship Series presented to you by Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Actually, right now you're in second in the point standings for the championship series. The microphone's not going to really work all the way over here, but that's okay. Uh, how are you feeling right now? The weather was much cooler than anticipated. How, uh, how brutal was it out there, though? Uh, it was pretty brutal. Um, not as bad as I was expecting it to be with how hot it was yesterday. Uh, the weather definitely helped out today, but the track was awesome. Works did a great job on the course, and I had a bunch of fun. Well, awesome. I know we talked about this a little bit earlier. Um, so how... how um, Please, are you with your overall performance? Like I said, you're sitting second, your rookie year in the pro class, sitting in seconds in the points. How are you feeling about it right right now? Feeling pretty good. This is actually my second year in the oh. pro class. I raced a little bit of it last year, but blew out my knees, so I guess it's kind of like my first year. But I'm pumped with where I'm sitting in the points, and uh, 
just looking forward to improving every round. Well, awesome. Congratulations. Right, Zach, on it's good to see you back on the podium. I know you've been dealing with what we talked about it earlier, too. You've been um, hurt, injured. How excited are you with your performance today? It was good. Uh, got off to a great start. Um, put in some good effort out there. and. Uh, after the pit, made one mistake in the back um, where I fell in the ditch and uh, tried to get my bike out of there, but it, it was tough. Um, but, you know, I regrouped, um, caught back up to Taylor. He was stuck with lockers back there, um, and we all ended up with each other again. So, uh, tried to put on a late charge, um, but just got with too many lockers back there again and uh, just lost a lot of time. But uh, happy with my uh, performance today and, uh, you know, ready to head to Europe tomorrow and. Uh, you know, have a little vacation. Oh, where are you going? Uh, we're gonna be hitting France and uh, London. Oh, awesome, uh, I'm gonna see a souvenir on the way back. Yeah. Taylor, Robert. You know, I'm gonna ask you about Washington and how, how uh, obviously getting that second place finish broke your your, uh, your streak, you were on a six, uh, six race win streak. So how'd you bounce back from that? Obviously uh, with the first place. Just came back to Glen Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, have you been um, racing it since uh, we saw you last in Washington? Yeah, last weekend I went and did the Sprint Enduro out east in South Carolina. We actually did our ISD team training camp back there. So it was good riding with all the East Coast boys. They, uh, they definitely haul the mail out there. So need to get these two guys to, to uh, get, get up and keep pushing me so we can keep, so we can keep eating those guys because uh, there are definitely no slouch back there. Also, I know you mentioned ISD. Uh, you were on the first American team to, to win it, correct? Yeah, back in 2016, and uh, we have a really solid team this year. Everybody's riding really well. I think we got another good chance at winning it again. Well, we look forward to, uh, um, to seeing you in that. Who do you want to thank for sponsoring and helping you out? Just the whole Red Bull FMF KTM team and uh, my, my mechanic, my family for coming out and helping me out. And, um, yeah, just looking forward to finishing the season off strong. Well, you are in the points lead right now. It's pretty much, uh, I wouldn't call it a lock, but it's uh, pretty, pretty close to being a lock in the points lead for Taylor Robert. Congratulations, everybody, again, Taylor Robert, Zach Bell, John Chance, congratulations, uh, coming out here, making a staple, making a strong statement with a strong third place finish. How are you feeling about that right now? Uh, pretty good. I haven't been out here in a while, so it feels good to be back. Well, then say, where have you been? Uh, Beta pulled us out of here, so I haven't been, I haven't been uh, at many of these, but I live pretty local, so I figured I'd come out and have some fun and see some people I know. Hey, now it's nice to come out, have a little paycheck, taking a third place finish. How was that? It was actually cooled off for you out here, so it wasn't too brutal, was it? No, yesterday I think it was worse than today. What are you mean? Showing, showing strong, strong finishes, podium after podium. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling pretty tired, but it was a uh, it was a good race. It was uh, first half was really good, and then kind of a long pit, and then uh, after that, um, I felt good. And then we got I got stuck up in the uh, pro section. It was super tight, and like if somebody was in front of you, you were and they weren't as good or couldn't get through it, you were kind of screwed. And that's kind of it screwed all of us on the first lap, and then. Uh, yeah, we were all just sitting there the first lap and then um, it happened to me again later in the race and then I fell in it and then that was kind of the end of it. But it was fun to kind of um, race with uh, Austin for the majority of it and uh, yeah, I just need to finish it off a little bit better. But I felt pretty good and yeah, it was fun. Yeah, you look strong. I was wondering what happened. I saw you out there. So basically you got a little tied up back there in that pro section. Is that what happened? Yeah, pretty much. I, I just, after the pit, it was kind of a long pit. And then uh, Austin had a good pit, got ahead of me. And I was like, all right, just kind of follow him for a bit, relax. And then I got to that section. Um, and I just got caught up in it uh, a couple laps in a row. And that's... I kicked over your champagne. I apologize about that. Hey, uh... As these guys mentioned, let's just talk about um, that pro section back there. How were you dealing with that? Obviously, you got the win. Did you have any strategy going into it? Obviously, after you hit, you had a, you hit it a couple times. <laughs> um, you know, the technical stuff is usually not what suits me the most. Um, coming from moto, you know, it's it's something I definitely have to work on more. That's you know, I, I got the moto stuff majority you know down. But uh, when it comes down to the off road stuff like that, the pro sections. Uh, you know, there was really nothing we could do. We came in that first section, and Noah and 
<laughs> we, we, they just made us look kind of, for me, they made me look bad. You know, they just walked right around us. You know, it was kind of like sit and wait, and everybody was just trying to get out of that section. But once we got out of there, the race was pretty smooth after that. I mean, it wasn't easy, but, uh, you know, it def Talon, Talon was riding awesome. You know, it was keeping me on toes. You know, I was having to push really hard. Um, you know, we were able to get him in the pit, and, you know, we are happy to get out front and just made the push all the way to the end and came away with the win, which was awesome. Well, good. Obviously, survival, survival of the fittest. You survived, came out on top. Congratulations on another first place podium. Well, we'll get it open. Good job, guys. <laughs>I've been butchering it all day. Reardon. Re re Reardon? Reardon, yeah, yeah. Reardon. Where are you from? Australia. Awesome. But I love the accent. Crikey, yeah. huh? Is that like Crocodile Hunter style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, are you a yeah. big fan of Steve Irwin? Yeah. Yeah, now you, everyone. Hello. Uh, well, how are you doing right now? Obviously, you're coming um, off the pressure off the race, pumped up on their third place finish? Yeah, happy. Second time here, so glad to be on the box. And we'll do the full series next year, so pretty excited. Well, awesome. Congratulations. We're excited to have a newcomer like you. Uh, so what, uh, what have you been hiding out at so far when you're not racing? Uh, living up in Northern California um, and kind of been doing every bit of everything. Okay. Extreme, motocross, everything. But next year we'll hone down onto some series. Oh, awesome. Well, we're excited to have you join the series for 2020. Who do you want to thank? Who's sponsoring you? NorCal Motorsports. They look after us really well. FMF, Bell Helmets, Oakley, Pod, um, and then also everyone who put this event on is great. Thanks. Like, like myself, I thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, my, thank you myself. I like to well myself to thank myself for being such an awesome announcer. That is the greatest announcer that nobody's ever heard of. <laughs> but say, oh buddy, doing it, killing it, killing the game, leading the points. How are you feeling? I'm super pumped up right now. I know you didn't get first. It was a tough race. I saw you out there pushing it. Yeah, it was uh, super fun. I had a good battle with Tyler for like three laps, and then I just didn't have what it took to run with him towards the end. Well, good job there. Still came out with second place finish. Who do you want to thank? Who's helping you out? Uh, Gas Gas, Six Bugle Racing, NorCal Motorsports, Playgrounds Plus, Steel Solutions, Maxxis Tires, and my mom and dad. Awesome. There you go. But say all the there. Tyler, buddy, how'd you do it? I know I'm hearing, uh, tell me the story. I know that pro section back there was pretty brutal. What'd you think about it and how were you uh, negotiating that? Um, so yeah, yeah, it was really brutal. You know, I came into it the first lap and actually got the lead going through the first uh, two rock sections. And then going into that wash, there was probably 10, 15 pro twos that was just lined up and I started riding the bank trying to get around them. You know, I was getting yelled at and, you know, screamed at and, you know, but I, I was doing what I had to do to freaking keep my lead and, you know, and I finally got out of there and then just rode good for the next few laps and then hit a, another bottleneck and that's when Matteo got by me and, uh, you know, and then we had a sick battle for three laps, you know, and I was just trying to find every place I could to pass him and he's riding really well and I finally, finally got him at the end of the pro section and then just rode the rest of that three laps I think it was and had fun. That was an exciting battle. I mean, unfortunately, I know uh, with this track, we can't really watch the whole thing take place. Nobody could really see what was going on back there, but I, from what I could see, it was a tough battle, hard fought, great first place finish. Who do you want to thank for getting on the top on the box? Um, you know, I'd have to thank uh, Ron Pervines, uh, Pervines Racing, uh, Precision Concepts for sure. I definitely couldn't have done it without them and their suspension. It worked amazing. Uh, IMS, FMF, Dunlop Tires, uh, my mom and dad, Dallas Chittister, uh, Fast Company, GPR, and just everyone else behind me. Thank you.